Why? Hello and welcome build, everybody. Only... So today I wanted to go go ahead and show you guys not necessarily like the pinnacle of the Archmage Ball Lightning character, but more so kind of around where I'm gonna be probably stopping. So over here we dropped our first T17 map after farming and we ended up rolling it on a fortress. People told me fortress was the easiest boss by far. I did not realize how easy it actually was with this character. We quite literally just stood still the whole entire fight and did not move. <laughs> uh, Instant Leech is definitely really broken with this setup. I'm sure same thing with the Ice Nova setup, right? Where you can see because of how many hints, hits are currently occurring, the Instant Leech is so rapid. And this is without even Corrupted Soul, which was kind of what I was farming for, but I, I just never ended up getting it. So this was our T17 clear. I'm pretty happy with the character. I think we're gonna potentially take a break from it just because I enjoy mapping on Righteous Fire so much more. Uh, has a much cozier mapping to it doesn't get blocked by like trees and a whole bunch of other things so with that being said uh you know i killed the boss and then couldn't clear the map because of the hallway and ball lightning doesn't work well in the hallways so i had to switch back to the regular one let me go ahead and jump in and show you kind of what we have farmed for goodies okay oh let's just keep it here all right so as you guys know since this is like my own you know ssf league right it's not really a league it's just solo self found we have been farming gear for our righteous fire character not necessarily intentionally it just kind of appeared on the side so let's go ahead and show kind of what we have so i've got a cloak of flame here that's six socketed it doesn't really have any good links on it though so i'll have to work into at least five linking that uh, i've got a couple of elder helmets here one of them already has conk and burning with a prefix open for physical damage taken as X element, and then we can probably exalt slam that last modifier there, and some backup helms to work on. Uh, I've got myself a Dawnbreaker, although I don't plan on using it, it's always nice to have extra options. And then I've got myself four Rise of the Phoenixes that we're gonna wanna farm for Corruption Chambers. Um, this is gonna be really nice for like the, the initial leveling. I've got myself a pair of gloves here, which have a decent fracture which means we can go ahead and aim towards getting, um, you know, really good gloves, basically. I'm a big fan of gloves with RF builds because of Ignite proliferation, alongside with uh, just life regeneration, chaos resistance, etc. So gloves are a very big part. I did find a 10% damage over time rune dagger fracture. So this could potentially be the end game rune dagger version as well. Uh, and then other than that, we've just got some basic Immortal Fleshes, along with a Kikizuru, a Barracks Respite. Of course, we won't use the Respite if we are using uh, if we are using Ignite Proliferation gear, but this is still a nice piece. And then a Six Link Saintly, if I decide that I want more damage instead of running the Cloak of Flame, until we Six Link the Cloak of Flame. So I think we're probably going to start the RF journey today and kind of just see where it takes us. That's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box, except for Sundays. See you guys all tomorrow.